So what's up YouTube? I'm Timmy, it's your boy Flo and this is Pure Kicks back at it again with another video this time giving you a video about our NBA award predictions for the upcoming season this video is about Rookie of the Year Alright, so one of our most important, I say most important for our young ballers as well. 100%. So let's get into it, quite frankly. So, Flo, give me one name. When I say rookie of the year, who are you, who are you taking? Who are you picking? Alright, only because this gentleman didn't play in his actual rookie year. Yeah. And he's still eligible to win the award this mm -hmm. year. My pick is Ben Simmons. Okay. The okay. dude is a beast, bro. I know he's he is. ridiculous. In high school, he's is. ridiculous. In college, he was ridiculous. And especially with him now having that year, being around the NBA system, being around the NBA lifestyle, being yeah, around yeah, NBA yeah, coaches, yeah, being yeah. around NBA players, I think he was ready to go for quite a long time. Mm. And he's been working out with all these NBA players. After. That's my guy. I've got him. Yeah, you know how I feel about him. You know, I say him, but you know how I feel about that exact that thing. Yeah. You had your rookie year. Unfortunately, you got injured. So don't come around messing up for the rest of us because, like I said, you're surrounded by all that NBA experience, yeah. and then it makes it harder for the real, real rookies to come in and do their yeah. thing. I don't know. Okay. It's tough. It's tough. It's Not tough. really cares about that. To be honest with you, agreed. He's, elig he's eligible yeah. and he's probably going to win it. Yeah. So that's I'm going to leave that's that. A, that's a good way of putting it. Who you got? Me. I'm going with my guy, Dennis Smith Jr. Oh, he's nice. I said my guy. I don't know him personally, but shout out Dennis Smith Jr. He's nice. He's, he's a problem. Yeah, he is, definitely. With his something number vertical. I'm going to say 4,167. I think that's pretty accurate by a couple inches. 4,967 inches. You heard vertical. it here first, it's about right. It's this one. Um, so, him and the rest of his game, his jump shot, his quickness. Oh, dude is a blur. One of the quickest players I've seen yeah. in this rookie class. 100%. And I feel like he's definitely got something to prove. Yeah. I think anyone who doesn't come number one. There's always got something to prove. Yeah. Anyone who doesn't get picked first has got something to prove against how come you didn't pick me first and here's how I'm about to show you where you missed out. Any team that picked above, for sure. So I feel like Dennis is, yeah, he's, he's out here, for sure. I think the reason why I like his chances as well is that, like Ben Simmons, he's actually in a team where I believe he might start at the point guard position. Yeah, agreed. Obviously, winning that Rookie of the Year award is about your stats, it's mm -hmm. about your productivity on the court. That's right. So if you're playing maximum minutes, like I think Dennis Smith Jr. will be, you have a higher chance of winning that award, so, so I think no he's more. got it. Oh my God. Someone's phone ringing. And, and this time, time, it's Timmy's. I can confirm that it's but Timmy's. But look who it is though. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to get right back to you. Mm, my badness. So Flo, yes. give me another pick. Who's your rookie All of the right. year pick? So you had Dennis Smith. I had Dennis Smith. Dennis Smith. You guys are sleeping. Sleeping. Who are you sleeping on? On Jason Tatum. I was sleeping on Jason Tatum. You are sleeping on Jason Tatum. I didn't Tatum, mean to, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. Jason Tatum is nice. The dude can ball, bro. Yeah. The person he reminds me of when I see him play mm -hmm. is Paul George. Two way. The reason why I say Paul George is because just his offensive moves, the smoothness, the way he. You know when you see guys, right, yeah? And they pull up, but it's with shoulders. The shoulders. You know the shoulder shimmy when they pull so, up. Like you could just pull up normally. Yeah. But there's other guys that go. What you know talking about? Just, ah. Jason Tatum is nice, bro. Okay. Okay. I'm I think he might. I think he might have the best career out of all the rookies. Wow, that's big. Why is that? Because of that, it's just his offensive smooth, his skill set. Would you go back Everything to his, he has in his repertoire, his, his setup arsenal. as well in terms of the team. So his setup is not the greatest because of. How Boston stacked right now Very with Kyrie, so. Gordon Hayward, even um, Jalen Brown, all those guys. Yeah, it might be tough for him to get those initial minutes in his rookie season. Yeah, but I still think you guys are sleeping on Jason Tatum. Okay, oh, I, I'm, I'm sleeping on Jason Tatum. I'm now woke. The dude I'm is nice. Awake. Yeah. All right, cool. So you've got Jason. Yeah. Funny thing is, no one's talking about Lonzo though. Big baller brand, baby. Oh, you just love saying that. Big don't you? baller brand. Lonzo, number two pick. Probably the, the most hyped pick of the entire oh. of the entire draft. Probably course. the most hyped player since LeBron James. Since yeah, I'll go as far as that. Yeah. Most and hyped player. Most talked about. Yeah. But for good reason. For some good for, reason. Yeah. 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 For a couple but reasons. We're not, we're not gonna get into that. We can't get into that too much. Not too much. Too Why do you think we're sleeping on Lonzo? Bro? 
I don't think we're sleeping on him. It's just he didn't come to our mind straight away. I yeah. think it's more because of those reasons we don't really want to get into. But the kid can play. The kid can play. The kid can play. He's all over. Yeah. His basketball IQ, I think, is what sets him up top. Oh yeah. From his, what he sees yeah. before anyone else does. I know he hasn't seen anything on the NBA court yet. I think what you see on the high school and the college court are very different to what you're going to see on the NBA court. Yeah, definitely. So we'll, we're looking forward to improving that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't see why he wouldn't. He can yeah. shoot, he can he can get up there. He's got everything in his rep repertoire he needs mm -hmm. to be a great player. So I think, again, with the whole backing he even has behind him, Lonzo is, Lonzo is definitely my second pick for sure. I like that pick, I like that pick. And just like Dennis Smith, just like Ben Simmons, he yeah. also has that system where he's definitely going to be that starting point guard. That's true, he's coming so into a big he's, team. He's going to get those minutes. So, yeah, that's a good pick, man. Yeah, man, that's a good pick. for sure. All right, guys, so that's it from us. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, as always, to like, comment, and subscribe. So make sure you let us know in the comment box what picks you might have for your Rookie of the Year. Do you agree with any of our picks as well? And also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at purekicks.ig, and Twitter also, at purekicks underscore TW. So that's it from us. Thanks for watching. I'm Timmy. I'm Flo. And this is Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.